It's been a long wait, but after two years of renovations, the scaffolding and dust sheets are finally coming off at the Musée d'Orsay. More than half of the exhibition space at the Paris Museum has been revamped at a cost of 20 million euros. The biggest changes have been made on the fifth floor, home to a host of large-scale impressionist masterworks. We are in the gallery of the Impressionists. It's an area which hasn't changed since 1986. The initial concept was to present a painting with natural light. Here we had a floor where everything was beige and monochrome. A tone which reflected light from the windows of this former railway station and for many visitors distracted from the paintings on show. Architect Jean-Michel Wimot was charged with reducing the glare and showcasing the artworks to their fullest potential. I think the light was one of the key points of research in this area. Also the colour, because it has to encircle the painting and create an intimacy around the work and acoustics for the comfort of the visitor. The final palette, a charcoal grey on the walls that lets the painting stand out, dark parquet flooring and indirect lighting, which varies according to the amount of natural light. We're in a more private space, if you like, and it's this intimate quality that we were looking for. Furnishings have also been updated. New additions include these Japanese-designed glass benches. The modernist style also extends to the cafe behind one of the museum's clocks, a space completely remodelled by Brazilian designers the Campana brothers. Visitors will be able to see the paintings in their new, improved home from October the 20th.